Okay, welcome back. Um, you're looking at the center console out of a 2002 BMW M3. And again, these uh, center consoles will look the same for most uh, 3 Series models, E46, from 99 to 2005. So today I'm going to go ahead and show you how to remove the uh, all the components. As you can see, the uh, center console is comprised of you know different parts. You got the storage back here. You got the uh, armrest, co uh, coin holder, and cup holders. Okay, so I'm going to show you how to take those off, and then um, also what tools you'll be needing. Well, first off, what you need to do is obviously bring this down here. We got to start back here. Okay. I like starting back here because of the fact that I can work myself from the back to the front and along the way you're going to discover or find screws that will make the uh, removal process much easier. So what I do first is I pull this off and again what I have to do is pull it out, okay, nothing fancy, pull it aside. If you look inside you're going to go ahead and find two Philip screwdrivers, I'm sorry not screwdrivers, screws. And let's go ahead and take those off. Okay, and here they are. You know, they're plastic. Focus on them. Yeah, they're plastic here. So you gotta be careful when you remove them. You might strip the uh, top of it. And again, I apologize. I realized that in other videos that I've done, I refer to these as screwdrivers. So again, I apologize. These are screws. And again, thanks for not giving me a hard time on that. So again, those screws need to be removed so then you're left with this here second step okay once those screws are removed you go ahead and very gently just pull this cover off okay as you can see there's a cable being held and that cable lights up that bulb right there which you know gives it a gives light in there so let's go to disconnect that Again, very simple. You disconnect it from the side. You go ahead and put it on the side as well. Make sure you don't lose it. Okay. So then what happens is once you remove the cover, there's two more screws, Phillips, down there. Let's go ahead and take those off. Okay, I went ahead and took those screws off. Um, and they look like this. Okay, these are metal. Not like the other ones that are plastic. Um, also, as I've always said before please keep a, keep track of where each screw goes uh, because after a while if you don't keep track you, all the screws will look the same and you're gonna try to fit screws in there that are not supposed to go there and it's not gonna hold this cover in place technically what this cover does let me put these screws aside those two screws there hold if you can see I can pretty much pull this cover off now see so those two screws connect to a metal bracket on the center console that connects the center console here so once you do that you can't just remove this because what's happened is it's hitting here and it's still being held by some other components so next what we need to do is we gotta take this cover off okay and again same thing all you gotta do is pull out and I'll show you right now okay so we gotta remove this cover. All you gotta do is bear again, very gently, just pull up. You see, and it should slide off. Okay, this cover has, you know, it's held by these brackets down here. Okay, you got some other brackets back here. Okay, that one's missing right there. And of course, uh, right there. Oh, you see that bracket broke. You, so again, you gotta be careful when you're pulling it out. And that one broke as well. So again, you gotta be careful. These parts are old and brittle, but again, um, even if even though these broke here, it'll still hold in place. So don't worry. Okay, so let's go to the next step. Okay, as you can see now, it's getting a little bit. See, this thing almost comes off. So what's preventing it from com coming off completely? Is this here. Uh, in previous videos, I've gone I've gone ahead and showed you how to remove um, armrests. So right now, I'm just gonna go ahead and summarize how to do it again you got these clips here you gotta remove this clip here and the one on this side here once you remove those clips there's a tubular, tubular holder you gotta go ahead and pop it out once you pop it out the hand, uh, 
armrest is gonna slide off. Okay, so I'll go ahead and do that. Okay, just brief overview. Um, the clips that you're supposed to remove from the side look like this. Okay, on both sides. Once you remove those, this is the tubular uh, holder that you gotta pull out. And this batter boy sits right here. Okay, so you gotta go and slide it out on this side and on the other side. And then what happens is, before you do that, just be sure on your armrest, see there's a button right here? Press it. Press it so that way you can, when you pull it up, I'll let you know here. It disconnects from that part right there, okay? So you see, now you can easily just slide it out. Okay, because if this latch here was still connected here, and you try to pull it out, see, you're not gonna be able to. It's gonna get stuck here. So that's what you gotta do. Unhook it from here by pressing the button, and then it just slides off. Okay, let's go to the next step. And of course, you know, as you're removing this, you're gonna discover, you're gonna find stuff you lost in the past. Hey, you know, oh my, what the heck is this? Wild cherry sunblock stick. Oh, where, where'd that go? Well, here it is. You're gonna find some change in there. Okay, let me see, what am I gonna find here? I think I found a dollar. Uh, silver dollar. Let's check it out. Again, this is in my car. Oh, there you go. Yeah, there you go. Half a dollar. Yeah, half a dollar. Not bad. Hmm. Okay. So we be prepared to find stuff like that. Okay, we're working ourselves from from the back to the front. Okay, so now as you can see this is almost ready to come off. Now what you need to do is, uh, if yours is manual automatic or manual you got to remove this uh, leather boot so what you do is you pop it up here okay down here you're gonna find two Phillips screws I already removed them but they they sit right there and right there okay take those off what's gonna happen is you're gonna be able to lift this up okay and then that's gonna release tension from here so now you can just go ahead and lift it up let me see, see you can start you can actually re remove it now and of course, you have to go ahead and remove this, these um, e-brake leather boot, okay? And it's pretty simple. What you do is I go ahead and take my husky here and just pop the sides of it, okay? This thing has been held by pins, so you go ahead and pop the boot up. Slide it up a little bit here. Okay, see, it's being held by this clip here in the front. I'm sorry, in the back and in the front. So that's where you gotta pop it up. Slide the boot up far as you can here. And then as you can see, pretty much it's just a matter of maneuvering this or this, somehow like this, so you can pull it out. Again, I got one hand, other one is holding the camera, so, but you get the point here. You just gotta go ahead and figure out a way how to slide, see. That. There you go, it's coming off. Yeah, there you go, it's coming off. Pop it open right here. And keep going, perfect. Okay, again, you got a cable over there, you gotta disconnect. You got a cable that connects to your hazard light and your locking button, disconnect it, and then you're able to go ahead and pull the whole center console off. Okay, so this is a good, technique to know because of the fact that if you need to go ahead and replace this cover here okay that's a good that's how you will remove it same thing if your rear cover here gets broken and you gotta replace it now you know how to do it okay uh, same thing here you, you got the coin holder and the cup holders these are pretty pretty easy to remove again you just gotta slide up firmly same thing here slide up firmly and then you can just put a replacement. And this is how it looks in the back, obviously here. Nothing simple. As you can see, the only, the two only screws that are holding this place, this uh, center console down, sit right there. The, those two right there. And of course, up front here. Okay, and those are right there under the, uh, the shifter cover. Okay, so anyhow, hope the, Hope this removal process is going to come in handy when you're working on your 3 Series models. If you need any of these parts, 
coin holder, cup holders, uh, rear storage, armrest. Uh, please check out our uh, eBay site and there's a link posted in our homepage here on YouTube. Check them out and uh, I'm pretty sure you'll be happy with the uh, selection we have of parts for E46 models. And again, we're pretty competitive when it comes to pricing. And if you notice, we ship these items out as soon as possible. That's one of our strong suits. You know, you usually get it in, get it in two to three days, depending on your location. Okay, check our check our feedback too. Um, we know what we're doing here. So again, this is the process. Thanks so much for watching. Be sure to subscribe, and you have a great day.